I've just presented the results of our prospective randomized trial to look into the utility of drug eluting balloons below the knee arteries. We found out that in our trial that our primary endpoint of a six month primary patency showed no significant difference when compared against the control of conventional angioplasty balloon. Furthermore, the 6 and 12 month amputation rate was not significantly different. However, the amputation free survival at 12 months favoured the conventional balloon arm. I think the implications, if you look at it, is that there is no strong evidence for routine use of drug eluting balloon for below the knee arteries in critical limb ischemia. Um, the primary patency that we found in the drug eluting balloon arm at six months based on angiographic assessment was about 42%, while that in the control arm was about 38%. Uh, this was not statistically significant. The limb salvage rate at 12 months was 75% at, on the uh, drug eluting balloon arm and 85% on the control arm. The amputation free survival at 12 months for the drug eluting balloon arm was 62% and 77% in the control arm and the curves were noted to be statistically significant. I think in our practice, we should realize that a conventional angioplasty balloon is still the standard of care for below the knee arteries. Uh, results are quite uh, durable and uh, this should be routinely practiced. Uh, for the time being, I would caution the use of drug eluting balloons below the knee, unless there are compelling reasons to use a drug eluting balloon, like for example, uh, instant restenosis. Among one of the limitations in terms of generalizing these results though, is that we have an overwhelmingly high proportion of diabetic patients, uh, more than 90% in both arms. Number two, uh, we also had a very high proportion of end-stage renal failure patients, about 50% in both arms. And this in a way is skewed because our trial protocol mandated a six-month angiogram for assessment. So a good number of patients with chronic renal impairment could not qualify for our trial.